Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. So today is Monday. I have a couple things that I gotta do today because we're leaving to Miami on Wednesday, God willing. So we're just like wrapping stuff up. I've got laundry to do. I have to um, do some returns. I've gotta take like, I've got boxes over there um, of things that I need to return. I ordered some dresses because one of the reasons why we're going down to Miami, by the way, is because one of my best friends from middle school, high school, she's getting married. So we're going to a wedding. And so I needed to find a dress. So I ordered dresses from like Macy's, Lulu's, um, and I was hoping that at least one of them would work. So I think I have one that works, but the other ones I need to return. Otherwise I have like a fortune sitting on my credit card. So I need to like get that money back ASAP. So I need to go do some returns. But we'll catch up, um, we'll kind of chit chat about our weekend. I have to do laundry. Um, I think I said that, maybe not. Um, I've got to start packing, all of that. I just had a minute now to um, get my hair done. Like not done, like I, curled my hair is what I'm trying to say because um, Joe's working from home today so he was downstairs with the kids gave me like a few minutes to freshen up and just you know put myself together it's Monday I want it to feel like a fresh start I want it to feel like I can be productive I can get things done but anyway let's hang out I actually just on Instagram I just shared like how I curl my hair with my um, hair iron with the straight iron I know I owe you guys still like a full tutorial that I promise you I'm gonna film here for YouTube but I showed you guys really quick like how I did my curls and I actually timed it and it didn't even take me that long it took me like three minutes to do this side I didn't time this side but very quick and easy and it doesn't take like forever you know to do my hair so I hope if you guys saw it on Instagram that it was somewhat helpful and then speaking of hair today I do want to thank Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video let me actually take the um, shampoo and conditioner out of my shower so I can show you really quick what I'm talking about I'm sure at this point you guys have heard me talk about Function of Beauty like a million times here on my channel. If you've never heard of them, they are a custom hair care line. Basically, it's super fun. It's like something that you can like do as a treat to yourself. You go online, you fill out their like little questionnaire as far as like what your hair goals are. They ask you things like, is your hair oily? Um, you know, do you have fine hair? Do you have medium hair? Um, what's your hair like? And then what are your goals? And then like the fun thing is that you get to customize all of it. You get to customize the scent. You get to customize like even what it says on the bottle. So let me put you down here on my toilet to show you. So these bottles, I, I made these like, I don't know, a month ago or so. Like I had them sitting in the linen closet because I was still using up the other one that I had. But this one, let me show you. This is the shampoo and I'm sure that you can read this. It says function of Kayla. So you can put like whatever it is that you wanted to say here. So I've always thought that was fun. Um, and then the scent, like I said, this is the eucalyptus and mint one, I believe. Or I think it's like, it's like a play on words of basically eucalyptus. It smells so good. It smells straight like you're at the spa. It's got like such a fresh, just good, clean, relaxing scent to it. So I love this. These right here are the eight ounce bottles. So they're smaller than the bigger ones. I'm sure you guys have seen like some of the bigger ones, the 16 ounce bottles. So I do have a code for you guys if you wanna try them out. Gets you 20% off of even like the big bottles, the 16 ounce bottles. So I'll leave all that information down below in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. But like I said, I've been using this on my hair for over a year. Like. Are we approaching two years? I don't know, like when they first approached me to work on the channel with me, I had never used them before. Then I started using them because they were sponsoring me and I have loved them. Their products are vegan, cruelty-free. There's no sulfates, there's no parabens. I feel like my hair is super healthy. You guys know, like I cut my hair um, a little while ago. It was really short. I feel like it's growing out super nicely. And I will tell you, the biggest thing that I have noticed by using the shampoo and conditioner is that I used to have like, it's kind of embarrassing, but I used to get like a lot of dandruff in my hair. Like my scalp was very sensitive and sometimes I would use shampoos and conditioners, they would irritate my scalp. So these are actually dermatologist tested, which means that there's a pretty good chance that it's gonna prevent your scalp from being so irritated. So if you also suffer from that problem, it might be worth giving it a shot just for that reason. Because when I tell you that I used to have like a bunch of little like white specks in my hair, it was bad and I have not noticed that at all since using Function of Beauty. So this is like a fun, cute thing, right? You get to pick your color, you get to like put your name. It also comes with like stickers, you can decorate your bottle, all of that. But I've actually loved like just how my hair and how my scalp feels. They also have stuff like hair masks and leave-in conditioners and all of that that you guys can check out. So thank you to them for sponsoring. If you have any questions about them, let me know. But I'm going to wrap things up in here and I'm gonna go downstairs, get the ball rolling, because we don't have a lot of time 
to lose and Riley was already asking me she wants to do like some little shape puzzles so we'll go do that I've got to print out return you know like return labels and do all the stuff for the returns that I have to do so let's get to work hello Jackson Jackson's already like I brought these boxes down here to package and he's like taking stuff out of them can we leave that in there thank you so Joe's working from home, like I said. We've got cars on in the background. These are like, what do you call these, babe? Like model cars or RC, RC cars? But yeah, I've got Macy's, Lulu's dresses. This is also the H&M stuff that I had to return. Remember the horrendous shoes that I've got to return? Yes, Jackson Wyatt, can I help you? No, oh, no. This is, this is why I need Joe's assistance when I have like stuff like this that requires mental focus. Because it's hard with the children. Okay, so that took entirely too long. That took way longer than it should have. But like I had three different places that I had to do the return. So I had to go online, you know, print the return label, package everything up, find the shipping tape. Like it was a mission. But it is done. So Joe's going to do me a favor later and he's going to take the stuff to UPS. So I'm just glad that that is like one thing that I can take off my mental list. Hello, little miss. What are you gonna do? Playing with your shapes? This is one of her little activities she likes to do. She actually hasn't asked to do this in a while. So I went and I found them in the basement um, so she can work on this while I attempt to make the kids lunch. This guy, I don't, excuse me, what are you doing? I don't know what has gotten into him today, but he is wild. He is a wild animal today. And he is loud and making a giant mess more than usual. Like, he is going to drive me insane today. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> like, what is this energy? I do not know. <laughs> Did he give you a kiss? No, he got me a... A shark bite? Yeah. yeah. Are you a shark? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a shark? I honestly don't know <laughs> how my mom is going to function with a baby in her house plus these guys like she's gonna go crazy when we're there because even me like just like i said in the last vlog the noise level is just out of control so i just like want to hide in my room all day <laughs> just shut the door go under the covers being like a like quiet little dark moon pod i cannot do that because i have children and he's a stinker he stole one of her pieces and ran away like he's doing all these things now to bother her and like, like i mean does he know maybe he does like he's purposely bothering her did you grab one of riley's pieces that's not nice then we were doing i was doing all of that and in the middle of that the power went out for like a minute so that was fun <laughs> I need to like pretend that that's not happening. I need to make myself some food because it is 12.20 and I have not put a single piece of food in my body all day. So I'm feeling like I'm about to pass out. So I'm gonna do um, breakfast for lunch today. I have one sourdough pancake left that I made this weekend. I made the kids sourdough pancakes. I actually froze some of them. So I froze some of the ones that I made so that we can, I know that they look burnt and disgusting, but they're not, they're really good. Um, so when we get back from my mom's house, we can have some more. Ooh, yeah, they're frozen. We're not having ice cream right now. No, we're gonna eat some lunch. I'm also gonna make some eggs, um, egg whites, since I've been trying to work on that cholesterol. Cholesterol. <laughs> been trying to work on the cholesterol, and I haven't had nearly as much eggs or cheese as I usually did. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking to you guys for a minute. Um, I gotta make myself some food. Make them food. Uh, this is gonna be a rough vlog, you guys. All right, so here we go. This is my lunch today. Do you guys ever do this? Just like have breakfast for lunch? I mean, I love me a good breakfast. I actually ended up doing one egg and then one egg white, just so that people don't come for me later. Like, you said you were having egg whites. But yeah, I figured that this was better than just having cheese and crackers. And at least like this, I get some kind of sustenance in my body. I'm <laughs> like fading away. Are you ready? You gonna work on your puzzle? Mm -hmm. This is a fish. That one is a fish. What shape is that? It's a fish. But what shape is that? It's a pentagon. It's a pentagon? It's a pentagon. I think it's a hexagon because it has six sides. Does it have five? Count it. I think it's I think it's six sides. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Right. It's got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a hexagon. Hex. 
Okay, I finished my lunch. The kids are having their lunch, also watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse or whatever. And then again, our table fell over because of the wind. Super windy today. Knocked over our table. You don't want to just leave it down? I'm going to take the umbrella. Oh, okay. That'd be good. Totally knocked over our umbrella on the table. I know. It's super windy. That's why the power went out earlier. <laughs> Did it break it? No? Very good. This picture <laughs> Riley made me put up here is a picture of me and Joseph, okay? So that is Joseph with all like five of his hairs. <laughs> and this one's me. And then this was like the the like sunset sky with like the pink clouds and the purple clouds. It's really beautiful. We're like frolicking on a hill. Love it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sit my butt down here on the couch for a minute. No. What? Did he just say no? I already made my lunch. You make your lunch. Dad, you're going to go to timeout. <laughs> Dad, you're going to go to timeout. That is right. But anyway, this weekend, see if I can catch up with you guys on what's new. So this weekend, Saturday was a chill day. I was home with the kids because Joe went to, I think I had told you guys that he started going to like a men's group at church that meets in the mornings on the weekends. Um, but this weekend, instead of doing their like usual meeting, they went to a men's conference. It was like a Catholic men's conference. And it was amazing. He said that there was like 400 something guys there. And these are all like just grown men and in different walks of life that went to learn about just Catholic things. And it was very encouraging to say the least that there were all these, you know, fathers and single guys that found this interesting and wanted to go. He went to that and then I was home with the kids and then yesterday we went to church and what else did we do yesterday? Oh yeah, the church, the church was full. Oh no, the church was full on Ash Wednesday. <laughs> we went to church on Ash Wednesday and we had to stand outside of the church. Like we didn't even make it through the entire mass because we were outside in like 40 degree weather. But that's not the point. So we went to church yesterday. Then it was a chill day at home. And I finished watching Outlander. So I was finishing the last season. I like last minute found out that there was a season five. I thought it was only four seasons. So I binge watched season five. So now I'm finally caught up because I think season six just started. So I'm gonna like, I guess now start watching season six. But I also need like another show to watch. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. They don't have 20 seasons, okay? Go eat your food, ma'am. Go eat. She's so nosy. She's like listening here to this conversation. So that's like me and my shows. I need to find something else that I can like watch on my iPad occasionally whenever I have like a free moment. And then Joe and I, we've been, we're on day 79 of Bible in a Year, which is great. Huh? So we're on day 80? Well, whatever. Today we're going to do day 80. And then we're, um, we finished watching Yellowstone. I had told you that. We finished watching Ozark. So now we're watching The Chosen season two. I think we have like two more episodes left. But then also we're gonna have to find a new show to watch after that's done. 1986, 1886. He wants to watch like the Yellowstone like prequel or whatever. So I guess that'll be the next show, right? But yeah, that's what we were up to this weekend. I did get a couple things that I'll show you later when the kids go to sleep that I bought from Amazon for like when we travel. So like road trip kind of stuff. So I'll show you guys that too. Jackson, how's your Danimals? You like it? I gave him an orange there so that he could be entertained for a minute while I had my lunch and he peeled the orange all by himself. He loves his Danimals. Are you gonna eat some chicken? Eat some chicken. Yes. Uh, Riley Buell. Riley Grace Buell. Go eat your food. No, I'm listening. No, you're not listening. Go and eat your papa. Thank you very much. All right, thoroughly annoyed over here because I put the kids down for their nap for a quiet time. All excited to have a break. All excited to get some stuff done. And then the freaking power goes off like twice back to back and turns off his sound machine. So he was like sleeping fine. Then when the sound machine went off, he woke up, started crying. So now there's like no way that he's gonna go back to sleep. So you're gonna cuddle on the couch watching SpongeBob. <laughs> and I'm just like, the Lord is testing me today. So this will be my life for the next half an hour. <laughs> watching SpongeBob, Camp yeah, cool. Coral. Is this one your favorite, Joseph? Oh Are you like the original? Oh my god, I cannot. <laughs> Please turn off this torture. 
I hate SpongeBob. I cannot. Well, look at him. You want me to turn it off? No, I know that the kids love it. It's just this is not one of my favorite things to watch. You know, we started watching with them on YouTube. They have it sometimes, and I think on Netflix it's like Corey Carlson. Corey Carson. It's like the little VTech cars, like they have toys of them. That show is so cute and they love it. So I'll watch that with them. But this SpongeBob, it's just so annoying. I cannot. My brother loves it. I'm sure they're going to have a blast watching it with Ryan in Miami. But like I, it's like painful. It's like torturing my eyeballs watching it. And yet, here we are. So this is what I'll be doing for a little bit. All right, so we've been hanging out on the couch. Riley has joined us now. She's been coloring on her iPad and her little apps. My name is what? Your name is who? Mm, I don't know. Oh, you don't know what your name is? Oh, I forgot. You forgot your name? Is your name Riley Grace Buell? No? Is it Vampirina? Oh, you were pretending to be Vampirina? Must be so confusing living a double life. You know, she's like always a different character. But um, I wanted to make, I wanted to make, I'm like starving now, I just want a snack. So I'm gonna make nachos. Um, I think we have some of those Tostitos or the healthier version of the Tostitos that I got from Thrive Market the other day. These, I think I showed you guys these, right? Did I, I, I can't even keep track of like what I've shown you here versus on Instagram, so I'm sorry, but I shared my Thrive order somewhere and I got these that were like non-GMO tortilla chips. So I'm gonna put a little bit of um, some like Mexican cheese on it and we're gonna have a little snack. Okay, so while I make these nachos, I'm trying to make them because yes, I want them, but I also want Riley to try them. Um, so while I do this, it occurred to me because I opened up the pantry that um, I haven't had candy in quite a few days because I gave up candy for Lent. So I'm just curious like if you guys also gave up something for Lent, like what was it? Like, Because I know a lot of people told me that they gave up some people gave up social media, so some people may not even be here watching this video, or some people gave up YouTube for Lent, which is 40 days if you don't know what Lent is. Um, so some people gave up social media. I got a lot of people saying that they gave up soda. A lot of people said that they gave up chocolate. So I gave up like sour candy and regular like chocolate candy, which I was very much hooked on, so it's kind of difficult for me. Like Riley asked me for sour gummy worms the other day that are there in the pantry, and I'm like dying to have some but I'm trying to be good it's supposed to be a sacrifice so for me that was like a huge sacrifice but I'm just curious like what else you guys gave up and like if you're on the struggle bus with that like do you now regret giving something up like that because it's been rough for you hi Jackson I'm making nachos are you gonna have some no what do you want in there sky it's been one of those days with him like I love him but he is just Getting on my nerves. <laughs> Jackson, you're cute. I love you, but can you go and just watch SpongeBob, please? Oh, no, thank you. Thank you for closing the door. You're whipped cream or ice cream? Because you're not getting ice cream. We're not having ice cream right now. I know, life is hard. Look at that face. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. We got some nachos. I haven't made nachos like this in ages, but I don't know, I had like a random craving for it. Okay, so you know what I didn't tell you? On Saturday when Jack, when Joe was at his um, conference, I went to Target with the kids and I got, I let Riley pick out, I told her that she could have like an educational toy. This was as educational as it got. I had been holding off on getting Orbeez for as long as possible, but we finally got them. And they are super cool. Like I know that so many of you guys said like, oh, you hate picking them up because they go everywhere and whatever, but they were so cool to watch them grow. They were like little tiny, little specks, like little seeds. And then you put them in water and then they grow and they're like a great sensory toy. So Riley's been playing with these, like Jackson put some cars in here and was like picking up the Orbeez and putting um, them like in his little tractor and stuff. So that is definitely a fun thing. I wish that we had that like sensory table, like that Ikea sensory table that I've been dying to get for them, but it's sold out everywhere. But Riley, cause if I had that table, then I would put these in there and we could do like more sensory stuff. But for now it's been like this shoe bin but Riley has loved them. Did you like the Orbeez? Mm -hmm. Tell me, did, how did they grow? How is it that they grow? They get hydrated. They get hydrated? Mm -hmm. And then they what, they expand? Mm -hmm. Was it a cool activity? Mm -hmm. uh, what are you eating there? 
goldfish. Goldfish? I'm trying to like run out of the goldfish that we have um, in the bin in the pantry because I'm trying to stick to the like Annie's, the little cheddar bunnies. That's what I'm trying to like buy from now on because they're a little healthier than the goldfish. Still not ideal, but a little bit healthier than the goldfish. I've been doing a little more like. There's some cheddar bunnies in there. It's like a mix. Okay. I've been doing like some more research and like trying to get into like reading food labels and like at least trying to avoid some of like the really bad ingredients. Like I'm never going to be an expert in, you know, food labels and all of that. At least I'm very far from that. But for a long time, like reading food labels and like just ingredient lists and stuff used to super overwhelm me and like i'm like not i wasn't about that life i i refused to even like look and learn about like ingredients and stuff but i'm starting to like want to and it's weird because like i don't know why or like what has totally prompted it but i'm starting to pay attention a little bit more and so one of the things that i'm trying to make like an easy switch on is like goldfish and instead of the goldfish just getting the annie's cheddar bunnies which are kind of the same um mr jackson there what are you doing with my diaper bag he thinks that there is like something magical surprise in there what do you got well there is that i took out i took his magnet doodle to church yesterday i had to get him a new one because the one that he had had broken the little pencil had stopped working so um yeah i got him this one which is great if you need like a travel size magna doodle it's perfect hey how do you do a line do you want to do a line how do you do a circle do you like that he actually loves to play with that so i had wanted him to have like a what oh you want your police car let me see if i can find your police car there's your blue car and here's all the snack wrappers from church which i should just empty right now Big. Is that big. good? Big. That's a big car, yeah. Big. Okay, so I got him that magnet doodle. While we're at it, I'll just show you the stuff that I got for the traveling situation. Got him his magnet doodle. Then I got Riley this one. This is obviously a bigger one, but why I got it, I've got to take it out of the packaging. I got it because it's like interactive and she can practice writing her letters because that's one of the things that we've been working on with her. So like another way to get her to want to write her letters and she can do this in the car. I don't have to worry about having paper and all of that. So I have to like play around with it and kind of see how she can use it, but it's got like all the letters here and I'm sure that this will tell her like, okay, let's write the letter A and show things here and then they have to write it on the screen. So. Uh, I'll let you guys know how we like it, but we are gonna take that on the way to Miami. And then this is the other stuff that I got. So I got Riley some new dry erase markers because we've been using like the little whiteboard. So I got her some um, dry erase markers that we are gonna take on the trip with us and I'll show you why. So I saw this online and I was like, this is the most genius thing. I'm gonna see if it works out. Um, but it's like this thing that you put on their seats like you strap this onto their seat and then over like the car seat like that's what i'm talking about in the car so that way they can write on this surface they can even put like their little tablet on here like they can put their ipad and then they have a place that they can be writing or coloring or using their coloring books and then it's got like a whole bunch of like little compartments where they can put any pencils or markers you see like i'm probably not showing this the best but I'm gonna give it a shot because she hasn't had anything like this for these long road trips. I mean, the trip to Miami is 14 hours. So hopefully this will give her something to do. And then it comes with these little, um, they're just like different scenes and stuff that you can put over here. And this is like dry erase. So she can color on this and then I can put these on or I can make them like the white background so she can color with the dry erase markers so i thought it would be something good for her to do this go around and if it works out then we can take this on all of our trips yeah. then this is something that i got jackson initially i was thinking of taking it on the trip but i may wait because i don't know that he's going to be able to like do this on his own i'd have to sit there with him but i got him a busy book you guys basically what it is it's a bunch of like preschool um like little toddler activities that they can work on and they've got the velcros really i wanted to work with him on the colors so we were working on this one the other day like taking out all of these pieces and then working on like which ones are red which ones are orange blue truck so there's the colors 
Um, then you've got shapes also. So I want to work with him on shapes. But you see right now, he kind of just wants to like rip everything out. So it's like a very intentional activity when we do it together. I have to really sit with him um, and prevent him just from going wild, taking everything off. So what color is that one? That one's purple. Purple. So we're going to work on that. And then it's got days of the week, which I've been working on with Riley. Months of the year. No, we're not taking that one off. And then weather. What else does it have? Seasons. Feelings. Body parts. So just like a bunch of different activities so that I have something that I can work on with him. Because Riley has a bunch of workbooks and stuff. But for Jackson, I thought this would be like a fun tool and then this was a gift from the company that sells this so they sent it to me but they do have it on amazon and it came at the perfect time like it could not have been better timing because this is a set of magnetic letters and i've been working with riley on like sight words and spelling like just starting to kind of really introduce her to working on sight words herself so this is great because um it's got all the different letters that you can use on any whiteboard but you could also use it here on the little magnet board and um, where did this one go this one was cute so what you can do is you can write words like I can write the word cat here and then I can have her spell it with the magnet so we're gonna work on stuff like that and I just figured I'd share it with you guys because I had it up there on the counter too so you have to find a C and put it right underneath and then you have to find an A and put it right underneath and then a T and then put it right underneath and that spells cat so can you find a C I can't find the C's. The C's are over there. <laughs> see, that's a fun activity. And then you can spell the word. Now where's there? See, C goes like that. And then how about A? Where is there an A? Is there a little A? Can you find a little A? <laughs> there you go. So this is like, hey, it goes like this, mama. You gotta look. So this is like a new thing that she hasn't done before, but it's something that we're also going to use as a tool in her learning. Did you find little T? So what does that spell? Cat. cat. Very good. You want to do another one? Can you write cat underneath with the marker? Can you write C-A-T? Now first I'll do a perfect C. Okay, first you'll do a perfect C. Good. And then a little A. Good. And now how about little t? And what does that spell? Cat. It spells cat. Good job. All right. Um, we're trying to get a quick workout in here. Or I was trying to get a quick workout in. I was trying to do some like crunches and some push-ups. Riley says she wants to do squats with me. So uh, let's see how that goes. You know how to do a squat? Like that? How? Oh, wow. Excellent. Okay. Down and up. Down? Yeah. My ballet? No, this isn't ballet. This is doing squats. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful squats. Great form. Dada's gonna have to teach you better, okay? That's okay. These are my push-ups that I need. Do you know how to do a push-up? Like this. No, push-ups are like this. You gotta go like this. I did some squats. Like, like a plank. Before. Can you do a push-up like this? No, over here. Do it over here. Let's see if you can do a push-up. Like this. Feet out. <laughs> Put your arms up. Okay, now you gotta get up. <laughs> okay. okay, can we just do a wheelbarrow? Go, put your hands up. Go, push off the floor. Push off the floor. Like if you're crawling. Okay, now go to the other side of the room. Let's go. To the other side. <laughs> Riley Grace Buell. <laughs> I'm not a lizard. You're not a lizard. <laughs> I don't claw. Okay, so clearly she has <laughs> some work to do. I was actually, I had been doing on Instagram, I had been trying to challenge myself to do one more push up every day. And I think I had gotten up to seven push ups. I think that's what I got up to. And then I stopped. So I'm curious to see if I can even do that anymore. Ready? Can you give me some space so I can do some push ups? Hold on. But let me see if I can even do seven, okay? Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to see so you guys can see my push ups. All right. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Can I do one more? I'm about to die. Okay. Eight. Okay. This is what he's can do right now. Okay, so Joe just got back from the dry cleaner. Um, he went to pick up some of his uniforms and stuff, but my dress was there, the one that I, I don't even know if I told you guys that I took it to get altered because it was too long. Um, so I didn't think it was gonna be ready till tomorrow. So that is great news because I can try it on, make sure it fits. So I'm gonna try it on now if you guys want to see the dress that I picked out to wear to my friend's wedding. Okay, so this is the dress, it fits perfect. Baked. Like it was perfectly hemmed. The lady did a great job. I don't have it completely zipped in the back So it's like a little bit big, but isn't it pretty like I it's like a dark hunter green I don't know how well the colors coming off on camera But I had ordered like a couple more on Lulu's that I just didn't like and this one like the price wasn't too bad Like the price of this one was um $109 which isn't bad. I think for like an evening gown I'm gonna tell you like shocking news to me I, when I went to like take it to the dry cleaner to get it hemmed, it was because it was too long, right? So all the lady had to do is like just take it up um, so I wasn't like tripping over it. The dress was $109. Cost me $85 to get it hemmed. So like almost the price of the freaking dress. Is that normal? Is my lady ripping me off? Like she's super nice and she got it done really fast. So like I felt bad like telling her like, oh no, and like I needed it done. But I feel like that's expensive, right? Or is that normal everywhere? So... Yes, um, this is gonna be the dress that I wear. I cannot wait. Probably gonna look for like some kind of a like diamond choker maybe to wear. Like I'm not sure about my jewelry, what I'm gonna do, but I love it. I was in between this one and like a red one that I had gotten, like not red, red, but like a burgundy one, which was also pretty, um, but I asked Joe which one he liked more and he liked this one. So that is good, I don't have to worry. I have a dress, that is good. All right guys, it's a little later. We just got back from picking up my car that I had to take in this morning for the inspections or whatever. So we are back home, Joe's doing a workout, and then when he's done, we're gonna do dinner. But today has just been one of those days that I really wasn't able to do much of what I needed to or wanted to. Jackson is over here playing with the Orbeez and his cars. Like I mentioned that he loves doing, he just added, I had left my water on the table and he just decided to add it to the Orbeez. My water. More water? That wasn't supposed to be for that, that was for me to drink, Jackson. But now his cars are submerged, so he is happily playing over here. Do you like those? Yeah. Are they fun? I'll try one. You've got your cars in there? Oh, what a blasty blast. I at least went to, um, I went down to the basement to check on the kids' clothes that I had started. And it seems like because the power went out earlier, it didn't wash. So I had to finish like up the cycle of Riley's clothes. Then I finally put Jackson's clothes to wash. So hopefully by at least the end of tonight, I can at least have their clothes washed. So that tomorrow I can just straight up focus on just packing for like everybody. Because, you know, the kids sometimes cooperate. Uh, and let me do a few things and then uh, there are other days like today that it's just like putting out fire after fire Just a little while ago the dry erase markers that we were working with um, Jackson decided that he wanted to grab one and he put it in the carpet over there in the living room where Joe's office is That came out luckily, but like with a white it came out But he had decided to do that on the carpet and then he had also found Riley's boot her like little snow boots that she has decided to paint them so i was at the sink trying to get them to come out and luckily like i tried soap didn't work i tried the wipes didn't work um with some magic erasers um doing that a bit most of it came out but i was doing that and then earlier this afternoon he's like in just like one of those moods where he just wants to like ruin everything where like Riley was painting with her dry erase, you know, thing and making little drawings and stuff, and he would literally come up behind her with a uh, with a paper towel and wipe off her drawing, <laughs> and she was getting so mad. And like I don't blame her. Like she's working on a piece of art there, and he was just being like a little, you know, little jerk. Like he knew that she was getting mad, and he would go and like you'd see him, he'd be laughing and he'd like wipe it off, and he thought it was a game. So I was trying to put out the fires between the two of them. They were fighting, like, it has not been a relaxing, like, they're occupied and happy and I can get some stuff done kind of day. But, you know, they're content. They're living their best life still, even though I can't do anything. 
Are you happy? Oh, there's one stuck. How do you say it? It's stuck. Get out. It's stuck. Say, get out. Yeah. Get out. Are you going to put your cards in there? Oh, what was that? Let's see. What kind of fire I have to put out over here? What was that? What did I hear? Was that one of my nail polishes? Oh, it wasn't just one of them. It was four of them. Well, thank you for knocking that over. Sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. Yes. <laughs> What's going on over here, you guys? Aww. Riley, are you cooking with Dada? Yeah, right. What are you making? We're seasoning. Riley, what is that? <laughs> what are you putting the salt on? Look at that. Nice and even. Beautiful. We're going to have some steaks. We're going to have some butcher box steaks tonight. No. 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 Pepper? Jackson, this is my child at my legs all day. He wants to go back inside. He really does. Jackson. Good job. Here, you want to sit here? No, you got to sit. We're not washing our hands. We're just sitting. You want to sit there? All right, we got broccoli. That hasn't been put in yet, right? No, that's cold. And then this was the shoe that Jackson painted. Look, I got most of it out. That was surprising. Riley, what else have you cooked? They're cooking rotten. What? Uh, rotten uh, what? Steak? I'm What's sorry. the green stuff? What's the green stuff? Broccoli. And, and what else? in the oven? Is potatoes. Potatoes. Wow, that sounds wonderful. <gasps> this is how we cook, by the way, in the kitchen. There is a mess of blocks. Jackson came and brought his blocks and just decided to open them all over here while we're trying to cook. So that is great. You can't find the garbage truck? No. Go find it. The garbage truck? Monster truck? Where is it? Dada, help him find the monster truck. He needs a monster truck. Oh my goodness. How many more hours to <laughs> I can't. I'm also over here trying to feed my starter. Um, I'm getting nervous because this is the first time that I'm going to leave my starter at home. Like, stop feeding it, put it in the fridge. Like, Phyllis is going to be here all by herself when we're at Mimi's house. So I'm going to be putting her in the fridge. And I'm just hoping that she stays alive until I get back. Okay, that was too much water. I'll have to put more flour. It's usually 50 grams of water. But yeah, I'm starting to get a little nervous about that. All right guys, so it is way later. The kids are in bed. And now Joe and I can finally relax. We're gonna make um, like our our nighttime routine ritual has kind of been lately like we'll come down after the kids are in bed we do buy one a year but i always make um like some water for sometimes joe will have tea with me but i've been having my mud water and that's just like how i end the night doing buy one a year with some mud water so i'm just gonna put this water to heat over here and then i'll fix myself a cup of that like i used to um, i used to like every night without fail it used to be more of like have some candy like totally have like cheese and crackers like have almost like a second little mini dinner after dinner after the kids were in bed and i've been trying to like really limit that lately and it's been <laughs> helping with my weight gain and all of that and obviously i'm sure helping with just my overall health and then not to mention the fact that i gave up candy for lent but i've been snacking less at night so like the replacement of that like in place of the candy and the treats i have my mud water and it tastes like chocolate and it's just really really good so we're gonna do that and then i think we have maybe one more episode of the chosen that we're gonna do i did get around to at least getting all of riley's clothes washed and dried so i folded it and i left it in her room so tomorrow i can just like put it away and I can work on packing. And then like tomorrow, that's literally all I'm gonna do. All I'm gonna do tomorrow is focus on packing, getting everybody ready for the trip. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous <laughs> about how expensive the gas is gonna be on the way home because I was telling you guys on Instagram today that we passed by um, a gas station today when we were taking my car like to get the little inspection thing or whatever. 
gas was at 415 over here and so i shared that on instagram and then everybody's been dming me going oh my god gas is like five bucks where i'm at in california it's like seven dollars like crazy crazy prices so clearly this is not the time to be taking a 14 hour road trip home but i mean we gotta do what we gotta do so i'm gonna see if i keep a total of how much we spend on gas but it's gonna be a little frightening <laughs> to say the least so that is gonna be it i believe that the next time you guys see me it's gonna be in miami or at least on the road i haven't decided if i'm gonna do like a road trip vlog or if i'm just gonna wait till we're in miami but um hopefully at least a couple times i'll be able to vlog when i'm there i know that my sister is gonna be at my mom's house with the baby and I don't really think that she's going to want to be like on camera. Like she's more of a private person. So I'm going to kind of leave it up to her. But just don't expect that you're going to see her and the baby a bunch in the videos. Because I'm going to be respectful to whatever it is that she would like. Um, obviously I hope that she'll let me at least film her at once while we're there. But that's not like my kid. That's not, you know, for me to decide. But either way, we'll have some, hopefully, you know, some fun Miami vlogs to share and all of that. And you guys will get to see me, me and Papa and my brother. We won't be doing a whole lot, I don't think, um, because of the fact that there's a new baby in the house and like we're trying to like limit our exposure and not go to somewhere where we're gonna get like potentially sick. Like we're gonna not be going, you know, crazy all over the place is what I'm trying to say. But I still hope that we get to have like some fun stuff to share with you guys. So anyway i'm gonna go so we can enjoy the rest of the night um thank you again to function of beauty for sponsoring today's video remember the 20 percent off will be in the description box and that is it thanks for hanging out with me today i freaking love your faces make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys